again everyone I just thought I'd bring you back into the world and show you what I've been doing so as you can see behind me is looking a little bit different now I spent a little bit of time sorting out my Linux computer and getting the renders and the shaders working better and it just looks fantastic there behind me and I just came out of these woods behind me because I've been out looking for different types of flowers that I want to use in and around the area. And I was confronted by this. This is our castle steampunk area from a distance. As you can see, they've got this hillside here. And the first tower has literally just come into view. So we're just going to walk forward here and enjoy this scenery. This is using Optifine's shaders. As you can see, the, the, the lighting is fantastic. It's a little bit bright. I actually think when I watch some of the videos back, it's quite contrasty. There's one of the watchtowers just come in and we can see the beacon there as well. So when we come over the hill here, if the beacon's rendered in, that means most of the castle will be rendered in as well. Yep, there's the wall. And you can see the top of the the buildings we've been working on here. Looks sort of really nice. There's a cow. Hello, cow. Hello. I love the shadow in this. It's brilliant. The way that works. And there's our castle. The server that I'm on is regulated to only render in 10 chunks. So even though I have my view distance up to 25 while I'm playing the game, it means that I can't load in any further. And that's just a, a rule on the on the server. And that's primarily so that you don't fresh the poor thing. There's our little village down there. And as we come around this corner, past all the noisy sheep, there is our... See the mountain's not quite rendered in. It's our steampunk ship. And the mountain's starting to come in around it. I love the lighting effect on this as well. It's just so cool. We go up here. So I've been putting some banners up as well. So I've wanted to remind the villagers that live here where they actually are and that this is an important area with these banners in place I think the wood looks fantastic that lighting I've still got to work on this back area here which I said nice glow from the torches as we come into the village and here you can see I've been doing a little bit of work on the back these two villagers are still here yep hi guys and there's a fence here. We'll go in and look round. The lighting looks fantastic here. And there's a few more banners on the wall in places. And I primarily brought in some... Oh, yeah, I put some cups on the table as well. Brought some flowers around because I wanted the, the inn to have different flowers than the other shops. Because it's sort of like a bit of money coming in here. So we go in here, we've got all our mugs. I've put some new tables. You see, I've put this canopy in place. It's been held up by string, but that's not a problem. It's this nice big canopy. And I left the, like, the wooden block in the middle like you'd get normally. And you can see out there into the little area, it's like a little drinks table. And we can go in the back door here and I've taken the, the carpet off here so that I could just put items on the wood here. Put some picture frames up, some more banners. There's a stove there in the corner with a nice... Actually, let's just show you that outside. I spent a little bit of time making that look nice. So there's the... Just there is the bottom. And there's the top of the... It sort of blends in now. Yep, but there's that's all I like kinked chimney goes up there and we've got all these bottles on the wall and what I'll do is I'll probably get them different brews and potions in these and what I'll probably do is I name tag them so you can like have 
gin and tonics and Shamborn and all sorts of things like that. Then if we go upstairs, it's a little bit tight, but it's supposed to be quirky. What I've done is I've used spruce wood stripped here, spruce logs stripped, and then oak on the top, break up the color, some green carpet down, but it doesn't quite fit, and there's bits missing. And then this bedroom is a very tiny one with just one, one bed, and we've got like, you know when you stay in hotels and they've got like these really weird pictures on the wall? Well, this has just got like leather and an apple. It's like, what does that mean? And the ceiling's unfinished. It's all like, this is like the real cheap room. It's like one emerald a night. Uh, and this room's a bit, it's got a double bed. And again, you've got like a, a quirky picture of a drink on the side and the apple again. I've got to put some glass in these windows right next to the chimney. Can't see much because you've got the canopy out there. But I guess they don't care that much because that view is much better. But yeah, it's a bit difficult to get wardrobes in these rooms. But it's all supposed to be a bit quirky and interesting. Maybe I'll put some tables out here. But yeah, that's the inside of these. I think that looks pretty cool once it's done like this. So I've got some flowers. Let's have a look, see what I've got in my inventory. I've got loads. So we've got oxide daisies. Uh, this azure bleu thing, which I can never pronounce. And then these, which I was very happy to get. So I've got some lilac, some sunflowers and some rose bushes. And that, they're good because you can bone mill these and get uh, extra plants got some pony I don't know how to say that and then we've got some tulips as well which I thought pretty cool and I thought I might put the tulips around the the outside here and take out the daisies because these are a, a little bit more glamorous I guess is the word you might use there we go, like that. And then I think, oh yeah, that's right. Round here, round the side of this fence. What I want to do is I want to put some flat, some of the tall stuff in here. So lilac's normally quite tall and so are rose bushes. I don't know how they look together, but that sort of creates that's sort of like purple and red and then maybe we'll put some some flowers along the edge here like so yeah just put some different color flowers along there so that when you come around here you've got a bit more color going on that's what I wanted got one more rose bush I've got plenty of I can't remember if this grows tall I think it does this one I wanted to get one in there really yeah that's not so bad gives a little bit of color got plenty of these so I'm gonna plant some of these around the back I'm gonna put them in there like that just makes the place look a little bit nicer. It's just a random flower there. One there. And then I think I'm just going to put some around the front here. One like that. Then I've got that rose. I'm just going to go there as well. So it just sort of breaks up the, the eye line, brings some color in. And then we can drop in these smaller flowers in front. Oh, I can't put one there because that's a that's a block. Uh, they won't be able to go in there either. That's all okay there. Maybe we just put a so quite a few dandies around here. So just put something in there like that. And then we could have this 
There we go. Could have a, a few little flowers in here as well. Maybe another little tulip in there. Just looks like a little bit of a garden. I think that looks quite nice. Did I have room down here for any more? Put something small in front of the window. What should we do? I just put an oxide daisy in there. Those. There we go. Looks quite cool. The the sunflowers I was gonna like put out here a bit because I thought that might, might look quite cool. Because they like facing the sun. So you could just have these. They're not sunflowers. They're oxide daisies. These are the sunflowers. There you go. And then that way, we've got like this whole group of little flowers over here, which have all got sort of a super excited with the. F and then I'm just going to like put these down and mix in a few of the red ones as well. So we've just got this little wild garden over here. If you mix in the smaller plants, it doesn't look quite so busy. A dandelion in there. These are all fairly big now. Uh, the oxide daisies are small, aren't they? So we'll put one of those in there. And down there, so that when we set up here. Yeah, there's a, like a little bit of a garden area over there. It looks pretty. We'll fancy this up and make it look a lot better over time. And then these lilacs and ones, which are much taller. These can go in the back. There. Maybe one down there. Give it some distance. There we go, just to, it's just to break the eye line up. So you're sitting here, you can see some flowers over the edge. That's very pretty. That looks nice there. There's this garden that's starting to grow out here. And we'll put some bits in it. But I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, the sugar cane and the, the pork. I was going to put the pork in the oven around here. I've got nothing to cook it with. There we go. So put that in there and at some point we will get that mixed up and I want to put that in there for later on. So that's pretty much what I've done today. I hope with the shaders on here this actually you can start to see there's a lot more life coming to this little village. This little area, this trading area, a bit more colour coming in. And what I'm going to do offline now is spend some time mapping out these roads and putting down some blocks as to where I want buildings to be. You see, I'll be just put down single spruce blocks like that where they map them out. So that's what I'm going to be doing next is doing lots of planning for that type of activity, work out where it all goes. I'll finish off some little details like putting glass in the windows and stuff. But that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this and please come back again. Thanks. Bye. Bye.